the group of five has tended to get more love over the last few years. And there's some exciting talent coming out of that group this season. And I think one of the biggest names that we're going to be talking about is Coastal Carolina quarterback Grayson McCall. The things that he does are up there with the Bryce Youngs, the CJ Strouds. He is that good. He has the arm talent. Now there are some things that he still must improve upon. There are some concerns going into this season in terms of his teammates and whatnot. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but there's plenty of excitement with his arm talent. I think people just assume that he's not this elite passer because of he, where he plays, but he is really good. There are some plays that make you jump out of your seat. There are some plays that will definitely be eye poppers. And we're going to talk about those, what he does really well, why he's in an elite company and really some things that could make him even better than he already is. Grayson McCall is just such a good manipulator with the football in his hands. You're talking about a guy who knows how to use fakes and use his eyes to manipulate a defense. And he also does some things that honestly are, to put it in simple terms, magical. He does a lot of things that you don't really know how to explain. And there aren't many players that can do things like this, where you see He's throwing into a window that's not exactly great. Now, I also don't like that he's slid to the left, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But this isn't a window that is super wide open. That safety is headed to that direction, but he's still able to throw this where only his guy can get it. And honestly, it's a phenomenal throw. If really fading to his left and, and really running backwards, that's not really an angle that a lot of quarterback coaches would recommend or actually coach. It's not something that they're just going to teach because they know the level of difficulty with that throw. But Grace McCall makes it look so impressive. And honestly, there aren't many quarterbacks in college football that could do this. Maybe a Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Caleb Williams probably would take that chance. But honestly, the list is very short of guys who would take that throw and who could actually complete this pass. It's just That's just how phenomenal Grace McCall is throwing the football. And when we talk about manipulating in the run game, he is more than capable of doing that too. He uses the football to his advantage. He uses fakes to his advantage as well. And it allows him to shift defenders or at least make defenders hesitate just a little bit, just like this play, where you see this a lot. Guys are reaching to try and take him down because he made them hesitate for half a second. And in the game of college football, half a second is a lot of time for a quarterback like this. And then there's the spin move. He has a great arsenal when he's trying to make guys miss. It's not just throwing head fakes or ball fakes. He has a spin move that is pretty potent when he's running the football. And he saw that against Kansas as well. And this was one of the more exciting games from last year for Coastal Carolina. This play right here is you know another example of what Grayson McCall is capable of doing. We're getting option to the right on here on your screen. And it's like I said, it's this hesitation, one false step. Here he gets the court the defender to lean just a little bit, which allows him to look upfield. And he is already looking at his next defender to prepare his move. And again, there's that spin move that we talk about. So first, getting the defender to hesitate, take even just a lean, a half a step the wrong way, and then looking upfield to make a spin move like that. That's what separates him as a dual threat quarterback. That's what's going to make him a phenomenal talent at the next level. And it's going to be fun to watch him when he is doing what he's going to do in the NFL. And again, just another example of where you see he knows he has to use a fake here because there's three defenders out against really one of his guys. So he has to make that fake in order to get some distance and create some separation, create some room for him to run. And it's not just as a runner. He has the special ability to make, again, another throw where you're not going to recommend it running into you know pressure like that. But his ability to get the ball to his playmakers, and now he does have to find some wide receivers this year, but his ability to get them the football and let them do work is something that they will appreciate. Too. They're going to allow him to get him the football or them the football that he's going to get open, and he's going to make plays like this. It's, again, kind of the magician where he is making things look like super easy, but he's not. it's not something that everybody can do. We see it every single every single game. His ability to get the football out, even under the tremendous pressure, is phenomenal. And he just does some things that 
you know, the, his arm, te- he maybe not, doesn't have the strongest arm, but he is so accurate. There's a reason why his completion percentage has been so high over the last two years. And there's a reason why his turnovers have been so low. It's because he can make accurate throws on the run, in the pocket, fading left, fading right, wherever he's going, he can make these kinds of plays. And this is another great example of, again, fading to the left. I don't know what it is, but his ability to fit the ball into a tight window while fading against the grain, essentially, because you're not as good throwing to the left when you're a right-handed quarterback. But he makes it look so easy sometimes, which is just, I don't know, it just blows my mind how good he is and how accurate he can be throwing the football whether he's in a good position or not. And he does it on a consistent basis. This is not new information for anybody who's a Coastal Carolina fan, but for someone who's looking for an accurate quarterback at the next level, this is something that you're going to love. And another throw right here, just what are you doing? (laughs) Just how do you make that throw? Again, there's not a lot of quarterbacks that would even attempt that throw, let alone be able to complete that pass. This is just a nice ball to show his accuracy near the sideline. You kind of have a route where there's not a lot of room to hit your guy, but Grace McCall is just such a special player in terms of the kind of magic he produces as a runner, as a passer, and we're going to talk about it more as the season progresses. Now, I will say we talk about he needs to find new receivers. Sam Pinkney coming in from Georgia State is a huge addition, but they lose really every other top pass catcher. Maybe Braden Bennett is a guy out of the backfield that gets utilized a little bit more. That's going to be a big key for what we see from Grayson McCall in 2022. I, I don't have any concerns, though, about what he can do in terms of his skill set. I'm really excited to see, obviously, everybody's talking about Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud at the next level uh, in terms of who's going to be QB1, and I don't think that Grace McCall is going to threaten either of them, but I think that you see the talent. Just even watch these plays. These are special plays. These are not just plays that anybody can make. Now, are there things that he can work on? Yes. We talked about the Appalachian State throw. There's a couple throws that he's fading to his left or fading backwards, and he makes, makes the throw and he completes the pass, but it's... You could have stayed in the pocket. You could work on that, work on your patience, and not fade where you're trying to throw the ball because NFL defense will will be able to pick that up. They'll be able to intercept the ball, and that's something that he can improve upon. It's not that he's you know a perfect prospect, nor anybody is, but he has the talent to be able to fix those things. And honestly, if he is in those tight situations, we've seen that he's proven he can make those throws. He can make big plays. And like I said, no, not a lot of people can do that. Not a lot of players can do what Grayson McCall can do. And that's something that sets him apart. That's something that makes him special, that makes him unique. And obviously, Coastal Carolina benefits from that the most. And when you're looking at who's trying to stop him year in and year out, it's really tough because even though you can put as many guys as you want, that offense is unique. Jamie Chadwell has a tremendous scheme, and it's really tough to defend the Chanticleers on a weekly basis. Even if you think you know where the ball is going, they add a different wrinkle in, they send a guy in motion, they do a shift, they do something that is going to make you question what you're supposed to do on a given play. Even look at some of the clips from this game. There are guys that had Grayson McCall dead to rights, but because he's able to manipulate the they're basically manipulate them. He's able to create more room. And, and on top of that, that's in a scheme that can also do that. So even if you think you're in position, the scheme either gets you out of it or Grayson McCall finds a way to make you look ridiculous. And that's the kind of special playmaking ability that's going to get you far at the next level. It's something that's going to get you far in terms of what you're trying to do at the NFL level, and it's something that makes you a special college football player. Coastal Carolina benefits tremendously from having Grace McCall on their team, and it's really going to be tough to see him go. But for now, we just sit back, relax, we enjoy the ride, we enjoy one, probably one final season of Grace McCall running this offense, and it's going to be really exciting to see what Coastal Carolina can do with his skill set. Now that they have that veteran, they don't have to worry about quarterback, and they're going to put him in different positions to make plays. And as we saw last year, those kinds of plays that he can make are special ones.